Hey guys, quick little comparison here of a couple of Rovivon flashlights that I own. This is the Rovivon A8 and we've got here the Rovivon E8. And with the A8, you can see here it's roughly half the size of the E8, but it has some very similar features, okay? Both of them have these main LEDs out here on the front. This one produces 650 lumens. This one produces 700 lumens with the SST20s in there, okay? But you also have these auxiliary LEDs on both of them, okay? So you've got UV, um, UV, you've got the normal white LED, and you've got the red LED on there as well. But you can see here with the E8, the LEDs are actually, these auxiliary LEDs are actually a little bit larger and they produce more light than the ones here on the A8. Another thing that the E8 does is that it allows you to insert a secondary cell. Now this is a triple A cell, 900 milliamp hour Eneloop cell, greatly extends the runtime and makes this a proper EDC, not just a little keychain light that you're going to be worried about running out of batteries, obviously going to last a lot longer, but it's larger. And, you know, with the A8, if you're using the lower modes, you're going to get some really good runtime out of it anyway. I find the auxiliary modes, these auxiliary LEDs are a lot easier to operate on the E8 as well because you've got only one button here on the A8 where you've got two buttons. So it's simpler. The top button operates the top two LEDs, bottom button operates these three, whereas you need to press a whole bunch of different combinations to get into these different LEDs. It can be confusing at times, but again, smaller, simpler, lighter you may not want to carry around something like this in terms of the little accessories you get a bunch of these clips and with the a8 the really cool thing is that you have a magnet on the tail and a magnet on the side here as well so both of these magnets are able are strong enough to hold the light on a metal surface and basically just be be useful for hands free whereas this one here there's no magnets whatsoever i wish that I wish that Rovon had maybe attached one on the back here of the E8, um, just so that, you know, to have that, that same magnet that you get here on the A8. Brightness wise, the E8, it's, it's a little bit brighter, okay? Larger hotspot as well. The A8, not as bright, but I do think that the E8 just lasts a little bit longer. There's more heat sinking there, so you get some sustained output. Okay, and even if you drain that main battery in there, and that main battery, that's the same battery that's used in the A8, you can just automatically flip over to that inner loop, that triple A cell in there. And the, the triple A cell holds three times the capacity of this lithium polymer cell. So like I said, this makes it a very versatile, very versatile light. Not just that, you can swap the battery on the go as well. So you might be powering the light with the polymer back, polymer cell and you, this one's run out so you can open it up the light still stays on and you can swap out with any other any other uh, primary cell out there so the versatility of this one far exceeds the a8 especially if you in an emergency situation but again so light the a8 is just super light and you're able to just use this more as a traditional keychain light, which is almost pushing it there. I mean, it looks like a remote control or something like that for your garage door. So anyway, let's have a look at how these both perform in the beam shots. I'm gonna compare all my Rovivon keychain flashlights. We're gonna start out with the A8 first, and we're just using the main LEDs, okay? Not the auxiliary LEDs. So the A8, and I'm gonna basically put it on to the highest mode, high, okay? And that is really impressive for just a little keychain light. I mean, look how far this thing throws. The beam is also nice and diffused. I'll go for a little walk and show you what it looks like. Now I'm going to show you what the e, E8 looks like, okay?
and that's the E8. We compare the E8 now to the A8. Okay, the E8's got definitely, definitely some more power to it. Um, the hot spot's more pronounced in the center. Okay, whereas you've got the A8 here. Okay, it's just not as bright in the center, and also is not producing as many lumens as the E8. So the A8 and the E8. A8, E8, A8, can't get hot, A8, E8, okay. Now the, A, the E8 and the E1 have very similar beam profiles, so if we just compare, this here is the E1, and you've got the E8, here at the bottom, at the right, so E8, E1. Very similar, but I do think that the E8 is a little brighter, but again, it just depends on the model that you're purchasing. The high CRI version is gonna produce more lumens, but I like how the hotspot's a lot wider. Okay, E1. E8, E1, E8, E1, E8. They're pretty much identical. Uh, I can't tell a huge difference between either of them. Um, but it does seem that the E8 is too touch brighter.